Welcome to installing the Houdini engine for Unity in lesson one. So in order to get all this functionality um, inside of Unity so we can actually import our OTL files and create all this awesome proceduralism inside of the Unity editor, we need to install the Houdini engine. Okay, so it's basically a plugin that has been created for Unity by SideFX software to allow us to work with the Houdini OTL file format. All right, so let's go actually download the software and figure out where we can get the engine from. So what I'm going to do is launch Chrome over here and I'm just, I've already navigated over to the Houdini website, so sidefx.com. All right. And basically what we want to do is we want to go into the Houdini engine tab or you can go to the side effects lab. Okay. And what we can do is we can click on either the Maya version or the Unity version. So I'm going to click on the Unity version in this case. Alrighty. And you'll notice that there's a few tutorials already up here as well that you can watch and get up to speed. Or you could also watch all the awesome training material on GameTutor.tv. Okay. So to download the Houdini software along with the Unity plugin, what we have to do is hit this download button right here. So we're going to hit that. It'll ask you to log in. Since I'm already logged in with my Google, Google account, it'll take me straight to the download apprentice section here. And now what we want to do is we actually want to um, download the 32-bit version. So currently the Unity um, version only supports the 32-bit, right? Unity is only 32-bit currently until we get Unity 5, okay? So we need to download the 32-bit version of Houdini, all right? And we want to get the latest production build. You can always try to get the latest daily build, but usually the production build is bug free or as close to bug free as they'd like. All right. So once you do that, you just hit download apprentice and it will start to download. So there we go. So we're going to let that download and then I will be right back when it is completed. All right. So we've finished downloading. I'm going to just show in the folder here where that file is. And so, I am going to launch this particular version right here. This executable. And go to Windows 8. Made sure that there's nothing dodgy with the software there. All right, so it's going to go and install the software for me. And there's just a couple things to keep in mind um, while you're working with this. So I'm going to minimize all this stuff so we can see good two here. Or, Game Tutor mascot. All right, so basically, um, there's just a couple things that we have to um, make sure that we turn on when we are installing the latest version of Houdini. The other thing to note um, also is that SideFX is updating this quite often. So currently, because this is an experimental plugin for Houdini and Unity together, they update the licensing every 30 days. So you might notice that your Houdini will break after about 30 days of using it in Unity. It's no problem. Basically, we just have to reinstall the latest um, Houdini version and then replace all your files. So we'll go over that and I'll mention it when we are actually setting it up in Unity as well. So I'm gonna hit, I agree. And we wanna make sure we select the apprentice li licensing for now. And then what we're gonna do is include the Houdini for Unity experimental plugin. All right, after that, you are good to go. We'll just hit next. Make sure it installs it into the side effects software and hit next, then install. All right, so we're going to let it install and we will be right back. All right, so once the installer gets to the point where we need to um, tell Houdini to install the license, all we need to do is just hit next on this button and it will install the free Houdini apprentice license. Or if you've actually paid for a license of Houdini, you can always check that button. But for now, we're just gonna use the free version. Say accept. And what it'll do is it'll actually install the non-commercial licenses. All right. 
Hit close, and we'll let this all finish up. All right, so we're finished. Now we have Houdini 3.376, so that's the latest production build. All right, so now what we need to do is actually go into Unity and get everything set up for the engine. So we will do that in the next lesson. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.